Alright, and hey there Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Wind Waker HD Let's Play. So if you guys missed out during the last episode, we have finally now went and headed on over to where the boss door was. Now, you guys didn't get to see everything that literally happened within that last little section uh, for where the boss door is actually located at. But however, I did manage to actually open up with the last of the other cauldrons that are going to be here within the Wind Temple. And not only that, but I did do some off record type of stuff and actually managed to head on over here to the next little checkpoint area where you can actually be able to go and pick up with the boss key which is just located right on over here now uh this is actually a spot where i believe we crossed on through this uh the last time and it was just by only with just ourselves because we had to go and uh, literally try to rescue out with Makar uh, during that time because we didn't really have the hookshot with us. But now since we do have the hookshot with us, we can now finally go and head on over to this direction. And with all that being said in mind, let's go and literally put our other thing to the test with the Wind God's Aria. And let's go and do that here. Now all we have to do is just do it like this. And this is going to be the last and hopefully the final time that we don't really have to go and really worry about this annoying little uh, tune any more than it has to be. And I'm pretty certain it should be because I know that in the Earth Temple there was only three. And uh, I'm pretty certain here in the Wind Temple there's only three as well too in this place. Um, but if you guys are uh, curious uh, about why I haven't went and explored out with the other different islands just yet. Well that's just because that we haven't really uh, haven't been able to get all the different items. Uh, not in well, well not for like quite a while but now since we kind of managed to actually start getting ourselves with all the different items such as like grabbing ourselves out with like the mirror shield and now finally grabbing ourselves with the hook shot finally we can now finally be able to go and return back to those missing islands that we haven't really went and explored yet but we will be trying to 100 percent complete on um, mainly most of everything like the heart uh like the heart containers uh that we can try to pick up and same with the treasure charts and uh I think that's literally about it. I don't really think there's anything too much else that uh, I haven't really uh, put down here, but yet. Oh, God. Okay, we had to put Makar here or else this is going to be a major problem. Okay, so first of all, we need to go and parry at least someone that's going to be around in here. Now, I can see that this is going to be a major issue. We got ourselves some dark, dark nuts and uh, some of the uh, normal... Uh, oh, wow, there you go. That actually works out perfectly. Now, a, a great way to actually go and kind of combat around these guys is that, like, most of the times is that these other type of dark nuts are, uh, can actually, uh, can, will literally go and just, like, hit their own, uh, friends that are out here, so it'll be a perfect opportunity to go and kind of do a nice good strike if you can, but it seems like for right now, there we go, we finally got him out of the way, now let's go and grab out his friend out here, come on, what? This man is blocking every single step of the way that I have for this. Alright, thank you. Jeez. Alright, there we go. Get out of here, dude. Yeah, there you go. Take that. Let me regain some of my health back. What? This man is still alive? What? How? Alright, there you go. This man still has a sword out here. Yeah, no, those black armored dark nuts are kind of annoying as well. Because they're going to probably take a while to get knocked out. But finally managed to want to do that, man. And thank goodness that Makar is still alive and all safe and sound. Alright. With that being said in mind, and with almost every single bit of my hearts are like literally almost gone out of here. <laughs> at least we do have Grandma Soup, so that's probably fine. And not to worry, uh, you can always regain uh, Grandma Soup uh, if you ever do need it. Because uh, if you ever do decide to actually go and uh, literally waste it, because I know that you only get like uh, literally two times uh, with it. Uh, you will always can go back to your grandmother, uh, and you can always uh, be able to always get that replenish of any type of grandma soup they actually do need. So with that being said in mind, and uh, with that now finally out of the way, we can finally be able to get that boss key, and now we can go and head back to uh, back to our own type of destination that is from here. Now I believe if we go and push this on down, we can actually be able to go and head back to our normal and proper way to go and return from this and be able to go and head back to our previous boss door. Now I'm going to actually go and cut this part out. I'm going to see you guys uh, in just a little bit when I actually decide to go and head on over to where the boss door is going to be and I'll see you guys uh, when that actually does happen. Okay guys and I am back. And here we are, we're finally back at the boss door, and I think by this point, we don't really need to really go and really have to uh, go and worry about uh, using Makar anymore at this point. Um, but I do, however, want to make sure that we can at least grab out on anything that's going to be important for us. Now, you can always regain out on, like, some fairies and whatnot uh, for your troubles, and I already kind of made sure that I got some extra fairies, but unfortunately for right now, I don't have... Um, the uh the extra fairy that's here at the moment but 
Okay. Anyways. Uh, let's just go restart. Okay, guys. So, I am back. And uh, here we go. I uh, finally got myself a little bit regained with some health. I found some berries that were actually just around here just before heading on into the door. I don't think we need to really go and uh, have to really worry about using my car here around this part any more than it has to be. Because if you guys remember from uh, the last time, we actually did have Medley kind of just chilling around with, that, with, with her own type of area that she was at. But we went and actually taking care of the boss uh, during that time with Jahala. And, uh, and then Medley just showed up out of nowhere uh, by the time that we were finishing up with everything so i'm pretty certain that uh, that is going to literally happen with the same thing that's going to go on uh with uh, with makar here but this is where we can finally go and uh finally defeat out with the sand type of dragon that's going to happen now i can't really remember exactly on what this dude's name is but we do need to make sure that we have ourselves with the hook shot at full cost out here for this one because this guy kind of plays out almost exactly kind of like how we kind of had to worry about using uh, goma but instead, without having to use the grapple hook, we have to use the hook shot this time around. But yeah, now this area can be a little bit crazy because uh, I think this is also quicksand as well. So I think you can actually get yourself completely sucked up here within the sand. So you have to be a little bit careful for when that actually does happen. But really, this boss fight is really not all that too difficult. I remember when I first played uh, against with this boss the first time, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a challenge, but in reality, it's actually not that bad. As long as you watch out for his little buddies that kind of pop out of the sand and whatnot, I think you should at least be somewhat fine, and you don't have to get yourself completely injured. But we do have Grandmother's Soup, so we can always be able to go and regain out on anything for that matter. Hope you guys do go and check out on the Shining Pearl randomizer as well. I know that that is a video before. Uh, this one is actually going to take place. Now, I believe what is supposed to happen here is that this sand monster is supposed to literally go and start uh, finding his own uh, type of way that is here. And then you kind of just uh, go and just use the hook shot. But, ah. Uh. Now, one annoying thing is, is that trying to use the hook shot and trying to line it up with, with, with the hit right there is somewhat of a problem as well. Because you're not too careful. Just have to just line it up like that and just keep on hitting it to your heart's content. There you go. Now we got that part done. Now we just have to just do this a few more other times. Now these little buddies right here is what you kind of want to make sure to actually go and pull out of the ground. Because they can start acting up as for a problem as well too. But I think they can actually give out you with some extra hearts. So if you ever do need those. Now sometimes uh, with having these guys around they can uh, kind of screw up uh, on the way of how to go and knock out with this guy though. Oh no, ah, well that was a close one, jeez, alright, just have to do it again, and pull this guy on through, ah, oh, come on, why is his freaking friend out here, come on, get out of here dude, there, there we go, now he's, now he's gone, now we can go and do this part, yes, alright, go for the second hit, now he should start, uh, to actually start, uh, trying to fly on out of the, out of the ground out here soon, to kind of reposition himself, I think, Oh, no, actually, he's going to stay on the ground. Oh, uh, yep, there he is. Now he's going to start uh, blasting out of here. Yeah, be careful, because he will try to eat you up, I guess, along the way, too. In the process, oh, God, like that. Jeez, did not see that coming. Okay, now here comes out more of his buddies. We want to make sure that we go and take care of these guys, at, at, like, with all costs. Because uh, one fail mistake, and things can become really bad. All right, now, just like that, pull him in for a third attack. And he's almost done. I think we just only have one more on us. And just make sure that we do not get ourselves uh, into the Sarlacc pit or else that's going to become a problem. <laughs> yeah, and I'm literally bringing Star Wars references into here as well. Oh, God. Ah, this is going to be scary. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, run away. Run away. Ouch. Oh. Well, that was just great. Now, hold on. We have to go and pull out some of his buddies around here. Now, I don't know if... Uh, if boomerangs can actually do anything with those guys, but I think hook shots may probably at least do it. There we go, and I think that takes care of it. There we go. And the sand monster is done. See you later, dude. And this guy is completely finished. <laughs> wow, that scream is just absolutely nightmare fuel. <laughs> that is very scary. But there he goes. He just completely turns himself into a, uh, a pit of sand. And that is how we'll be able to get ourselves our next heart container. So perfect. And this wind temple is finally done, man. I am super pumped that we finally got this one out of the way. Yeah, and if you never actually went and done uh, the wind temple before, this area can be somewhat a little bit uh, more annoying than compared to uh, how the earth temple is. Because there is a lot of backtracking in this one. But there we go. 
Let's make sure that we grab it on this heart container. And not only that as well too, but get to see what the uh, cutscene actually does have to offer as well. There we go. Now I believe that is going to be a full set of 10 I think. So we are now completely done with that row. And now we just have to just worry about the other set of 10. And there's Makar finally. Yes. So not to worry. You would never lose out on Makar. Even though that we put him else to somewhere. But uh, it's time for one last tune. And now I guess uh, Makar actually has to now go and uh, literally take care of the Wind Temple now. Since we kind of saw what happened with Medley. And with uh, Laruto as well too. Alright, so not only one, but two upgrades for the Master Sword is now finally completed, guys. And I am super excited about that, because we're almost getting closer and closer to the end of this game. But we have a lot of side questing to do, and uh, that is not going to finish anytime soon as well. Because we got a lot of islands to literally go out and explore before uh, doing anything else. Because uh, we still have the Triforce Shards to actually go and pick up. We only got ourselves only one Triforce chart already. Which, uh, that was actually one of the most difficult of the ones to actually go and pick up. So that was pretty nice. At least we want to complete it off with that. But there we go. We finally got to see the repel of... Uh, or, well, we got to actually do have the actual power of the Master Sword finally back in action. So yes, it has been fully restored, and now we're ready to go and knock out on any enemies. Now, I'm pretty certain that since we do have this Master Sword finally now uh, all powered up at this point, we can literally knock out enemies left and right, and uh, we can be able to go and do that right away. So all those wood robes and all those uh, Bacob ones that we've seen by just using that uh, normal white sword or the iron sword that we were using, uh, the hero sword, uh, we don't really have to go and really uh, worry about that anymore at this point. So I see, so that's how the Forsaken Fortress is already, uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, like a molten snake that cast off in the, in the dead skin. That place is so empty, quite, I can almost hear the echo of the dead leaves falling in the cold. So I guess they're talking about Forsaken Fortress being, uh, being all quiet now, since I guess, uh, Ganon's not around, I guess. Interesting. So more info about Ganon. Um, alright, so far I have troubling news. Gan has not shown himself above the sea since Baloo unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. So what's worth is that it's not a creature stirring around the operations in the world of the Forsaken Fortress. So I cannot imagine how possible, and yet I cannot shake the foreboding feeling about the Princess Zelda. Proxy, let's go and search for the Triforce Shards. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing as well, too. But, however, we're going to end off this episode for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Just want to let you guys know uh, that I will be, of course, oh my god, why do we got a, a bomb ship out here i uh, just want to let you guys know uh that i will be going on a uh, vacation and whatnot and uh now i know that this video is gonna be like a post recording so you guys should be able to go and see this at whatever time that is gonna be possible uh but unfortunately i kind of have to worry about doing some other type of post recordings uh, a little bit after uh once i'm done uh, like with my vacation and everything, and I should be able to get back to my normal schedule routines, but you guys should still be able to see videos and whatnot on this channel, uh, for when I do upload, uh, and whatnot, so you guys should probably not be able to miss out on anything that actually does happen, but I'll let you guys know on Twitter, always go and follow me on Twitter if you guys need to know for anything, uh, update related, or anything that's going on, uh, with my everyday, uh, life, so that I can let you guys know about what's happening with the channel and all that, but I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace.